Добрый день, я хотел бы с вами поделиться своим опытом. А, свой доклад. Я думаю, я сидел здесь, думал. For this prolapse back in 203, but since then we have done a lot in cervical spine. We have done more than 4,000 cases. So you will see in some pictures and what uh, how we select the, those patients because selection of the patient is very important. You can't do all, you can't do it on every patient. So here you could see, uh, as everyone knows. This is a minimal invasive technique had developed as alternative treatment to surgical intervention. In initial my uh, experience, um, I got a lot of hurdles by the neurosurgeons. I myself is a neurointerventionist doing coiling, doing embolization and treating stroke cases. But coming into the spine, the neurosurgeons, my colleagues, my friends, what, what are you doing? What, what is this? This is nonsense. It's a very simple thing. But I was so convinced it will give you a result. And after a few years, and we repeat MRI after eight weeks after the treatment, you could see the slides where it's quite obvious there's a significantly clinical improvement otherwise, and radiologically at least 60 to 80 percent is the improvement you will see on these slides. So as you know, so far, percutaneous different techniques for the spine, these are the available, and uh, chemodiscolysis with ozone is considered to be the safest treatment in the world in back. It was published in Neurodiology Journal in 2011. So that convinced me more doing those cases. Uh, during that period, I have already playing with the lumbar spine and cervical spine. We have crossed so far about 38,000 uh, cases, along my other colleague, Dr. Shazad, is going to talk about the lumbar spine and all this stuff. So this is the safest treatment declared. And in this treatment, we don't even ask for the consent. So it's so safe. So th there are two different mode of treatment. Uh, how it works, the ozone or the other percutaneous treatment on the disc. One is uh, nucleus pulposis and the other is fibrous annulus. But for ozone, it works in nucleus pulposis. So this is the main uh, Inclusion criteria, brachialgia not responding to conservative treatment. Usually we'll wait for three to four weeks, keeping him on uh, uh, using the collar and giving the painkillers and uh, uh, methicobol injections and very light physiotherapy. I'm against the physiotherapy in that stage. So we just give a, just a very light physiotherapy in these cases, MRI, myelocity or myelography. Uh, usually we depend on MRI because uh, there are two, three contraindications which we'll see in the another slide. We need MRI. Without MRI, generally we practice MRI and sometimes the guys are having a pacemaker here. So we do myelocity or even the simple CT scan. So exclusion criteria for any radiation because this is done under angiofluoro. Some people does uh, do it on the CT guided but I prefer to do it on uh, 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 fluoroscope. I feel more comfortable and takes less time and uh, usually I use the angiography unit. Uh, the motor loss, you know that it's acute emergency, pregnancy is a contraindicated relatively because of radiations and the blood dyscrasias, which is there so just on the safer side. It never happened, but we never considered this important figure, but it's uh, to be, it should be in your mind. Okay, we have to be careful in these cases. Uh, as it's relatively low cost, low complication rate, Easily feasibility, short hospital stay. Usually we keep this patient after treatment for four to six hours in our uh, uh, post-care room. Uh, initially, for 10 minutes, they have to lie down, uh, uh, the lie on the, uh, 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 in the spine position, in the prone position, and after then, they just have to stay for two hours, and after four to six hours, they can go back and start their routine life with some, some precautions. And uh, no ex uh, uh, exclude the possibility, not exclude the possibility of surgery. You know that, I mean, after surgery, it's very difficult to do uh, all these procedures, but uh, uh, after doing this, there is, if you are, uh, there is a failure rate, Yes, in every treatment has a failure rate, but this is relatively less, 5-10%, or believe me, it's very encouraging. I mean, if I'm so convinced for that, I've done on my own family as well. Uh, uh, so you, don't, uh, you can't exclude the possibility of surgery. So as I've already mentioned, CT guided or angiofluoroscopy, but I prefer to do it angio, and I'm limited to the spine. I'm doing just fibromyalgia and very rarely doing the sports injury uh, for in the case of fibromyalgia, but I'm just struck through the lumbar spine and cervical spine, uh, being a neurointerventionist, neuroradiologist, so I feel more comfortable to uh, uh, play with the spine. 
So zononucleolysis is intradiscal and paravertebral. Uh, we go in the striker spine, we go from anterolateral uh, and under angiofloro, and one of the family members watches to the, uh, 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 from the console room. And uh, the other thing is paravertebral, we do it where we are confused which disc is producing or there are minimal disc bulges. We try to uh, uh, do it uh, in the paravertebral region to exclude the fibromyalgia along with the, it could help even in the uh, uh, diffuse disease of cervical uh, brachialgias. So single disc prolapse, multi disc prolapse. Generally in the cervical spine, we do one, uh, one disc per session. Very rarely we do two discs uh, per session. And uh, very rarely in cervical spine, uh, we do it two sessions. Generally we do just be, uh, uh, remain on one session and after eight weeks we repeat MRI. But in between four, six weeks he comes across and come to us and we give some energetic because the patient goes like this in a wave fa fa uh, form. Sometimes it's uh, feel very good, sometimes it's very, but worse but after eight weeks you can have a MRA then you can ask him to do or her to do anything. So sessions as I've mentioned single or multiple generally in cervical spine who do just one and uh, direct shrinkage or indirect because why I have uh, written this in a smaller uh, 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 words because it's not important in the cervical disc, it's important in the lumbar disc because in lumbar we go from the behind as Shazad will mention but for the cervical we just go into the enterolateral going directly into the disc in the center of the disc. It looks difficult but uh, believe me it's quite easy if you are knowing how to displace the carotid vessel laterally and it's always done from the right side. We are not going to do left is dangerous area. Uh, even the disc is on their side, protruded or right, we have to play with the right, displacing the vessel, and you could see in the floro, and you can go just into the disc in the anterior projection and the lateral projection. So results, as you could see from this slide, 50% of the patient showed complete recovery with uh, 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 resolution of symptoms, 25% com uh, complained of a coenal episode, neck pain, arm with no, because there is also some element of fibromyalgia, so the patient can present later on with these very small symptoms, but not in the, uh, uh, in the acute form or in the severity of the disease will be reduced. 15 patients shows insufficient improvement because there are so many things. I mean, when I've, uh, I forgot to tell you, we do it MRI just to rule out as well the calcified days. In calcified if it is, we don't do it. Uh, the five percent case insufficient improvement and went for surgery. Ten of case, cases never turned up after the first years. For last 14, 18 years now, uh, generally the patient was not coming. By the best referral, which I always said, there's no need for the uh, um, advertisement and all this stuff. Patient to patient is the best. And believe me, I got a lot of chances. The people are asking from the press, why don't you give an interview? I said no. If I give a quality, the patient will come. And it happened in my case, after having that much experience, we have done 4,000 cervical discs. It's not a small number. Even you will be glad to hear it. Uh, very soon we are getting, uh, uh, my paper is in publication initially in the European Journal. So there was some uh, um, uh, 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 problem created. And now we, it is going to be published in the Neurosurgery Journal of uh, uh, USA and uh, of 4,000 cases. They have already accepted it could come just in two to three, four months after uh, the uh, doing. So these are the results of 4,000 cases, excellent, good, and poor uh, from that much period. And still I am doing it. It's a slightly older slide now. Conclusion, intradiscal and paraphernal injections of a zone for herniated cervical disc has revolutionized the percutaneous approach uh, to uh, nerve root disease, making it safer, cheaper, and easier to repeat than treatment currently in use. I could show you just few slides, three or four slides. You could see, oh, sorry. Uh, Anyhow, uh, on the, this is before you could see, this is a three, four level, it's a huge disc bulge, and this is the same patient. I mean, I was just joking, it's a 100% safe patient. This is after eight weeks, we repeat MRI. There is some signal change in the cord, but the, most of the disc has gone back. It's a very fascinating. When you give, see this sort of a result, it's quite encouraging. Everyone says a zone is just, the people who doesn't know what is a zone, they don't care. But uh, I'll tell you, once you are convinced, you can give a hell of quality in your, this field. 
So this is another guy having two days you could see uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, four, five, five, six before treatment and after treatment. And we generally not before eight weeks or ten weeks we repeat MRI. And uh, it's uh, my experience in cervical spine, we, I have a better results than lumbar, although we have done a lot. I mean, it's a b larger study in the world for the cervical, but uh, I feel very comfortable playing with the cervical spine. Uh, here you could see this guy is very interesting. This was a uh, guy, uh, he was drunk. He's a young guy, 26, 28 years. He fell from the roof and uh, he refused. He was just like a cordipratic and uh, refused to go for surgery by the parents. They approached me. This is a, one of my early patients in 206. And uh, he said, uh, I said, look, I can try it. And I did three or four ses sessions in different days. And believe me, this guy uh, uh, married af after four or five years and slightly crippled because there is a signal change in the cord, but he's having a normal life. He's, uh, so he stayed, he became a friend of mine now. And um, uh, after six months or one year with other, and he's planning to settle in Canada to getting the advantage of this MRI as I'm handicapped, I may be rehabilitated there. He doesn't need it, but he just uh, want to have this. So here you could see, I have uh, shown few slides because of this at every level. So it's not an issue, I mean, it's in the upper cervical spine, we can't do it. We can do it every level. The first part, which I've told you before, selection of the patient is very important, even any, any disease. So if you're clear what you're looking for, then do it. If you're not clear, please don't touch it. So the main thing is how much you are convinced yourself. If you just put it on your way, if all happen to me, to my family, and I do the same thing, you will definitely provide a quality, and which happens in these cases. Here you could see three, four, although it's not that big, but there is significantly reduced because uh, even the surgery, you know, I mean, this sort of a guy go for surgery, they just do the laminectomy, and laminectomy could uh, produce worse effect because it's, uh, 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 pushes back and uh, uh, they have more complication as compared to any other treatment. So in these upper cervical spine, it gives you a lot of improvement and the few fibers which are uh, uh, producing in walk dif difficulty but pains are relieved, patient live uh, a relatively normal life, he's happy with these symptoms. And this is the guy who had MRI on own after every, he said, he giving me a prayers. He said, I'm so lucky, I'm, you did a good for me and this and that. So these sort of a thing you get it when you do with the very simple sort of treatment. So these are my few slides and then thank you very much for tolerating me. Thank you.